Hello people, this is Barry, your favorite European PikTuber, and today I'm going to give you some food for thought on what I thought is an interesting topic that I haven't, as usual, I haven't seen really many people, if not anyone, talk about, at least in the English community, and that is the difference in price between English product and European languages. In the specific, we're going to talk about Italian, and I'm going to tell you why we're going to compare English to Italian and what my point is. So we're going to use Italian because first of all, I am Italian. So I also can see a perspective on what the Italian market is, what the sentiment is in the Italian market. Hence, I can give you a better outlook on what is going on over here. Now we could have taken in German, we could have taken French. The problem with those languages is that I don't really see the community. I don't have a overall opinion on what the community feels like. So that's why I chose Italian. Now, this applies to everything but Portuguese because Portuguese is printed uh, mainly for Brazil. Hence, they print a lot of it. Uh, they overprint it uh, even more than English compared to the demand. You will find that Portuguese is the cheapest product you can find in the market. So we're going to go over a few boxes from this crime of the era. We're going to go over a few singles and then I will make my point. Now that's paradox. As you can see, obviously we know that you can find, as you can see here, you can find boxes for as low as 90 euros, which in the U it doesn't really uh, happen often, if almost never. And uh, as you can see here, I need to load more. So we're already sub 100. As you can see, it's still English 120. The lowest box in the market for Italian is 120. And then there's a few 120, as you can see, not many, still 120, and then you jump in the 150s. Now, cases, lowest is at 700 euros, which is obviously you can find them for as low as 600 euros. If you dig deeper, you can find them for even cheaper than that in the U. Poly Vault is a bit of an exception because you can find it cheaper in Italian than English, although this is the only seller with Italian Poly Evolved. So could these cases be gone soon and could we see Poliva follow what is happening for English and why is that happening? We'll go, we'll go over that in just a second. So here as you can see 110 so you can find it for pretty much as low as English and then here we move on to temporal forces which as I always said I'm a big fan of. I do own two cases and that is one of the largest position that I have in sealed Pokemon. As you can see English as low as 600 euros then uh, low 600 and in Italian it's already at 800 euros. If you look at boxes, 100 euros is the lowest you can find them for. Remember these prices do not include shipping and uh, Italian 129, just one box listed, 130, two boxes, 135, two boxes. So if you really want volume, you need to pay all the way up to 140 euros. Now let's look at some singles. Iron Crown, English, as you know, low 50s, I mean mid 50 to low 60, pretty much same as American prices, which we'll touch that in just a second. Italian, 90 euros the lowest listed, and then you go into the hundreds. Iron leaves, as low as 29 euros, you can find 18 of them. Italian, lowest listed for 53 euros, and then here 55, so mid 50. Gasly, low 20s, low 30s. Rowden, mid 50s, mid 60s. The Roaring Kitty, Roaring Moon, mid 40s for English, which as you can see here, it's starting to dry up. I tr keep track of the specific card in the database that I have, and that is available for you to query via the bot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I recommend you watch this video it will appear usually on top of my face, and uh, you can dig deeper. It's absolutely free, and it's in the disc. Um, Italian, low 60s. The Magikarp, low 100s, Italian, mid 100s. Raichu, this is a different example here as they you can see, they're pretty much the same price. Now remember, Poly Evolved is the cheapest box you can find among the one I showed in Italian that is are still at English prices. So it makes sense for singles in Italian to be more expensive than English because the booster box is more expensive, right? The price of a box, you can, see it as a function of the price of the single. So the price of the singles will impact the price of a sealed box. 
So Raichu and then Iono here you can see it is once again cheaper in Italian than English. I'll touch on that. Um, I don't know if it's because and that is a common theme that we're going to talk about it right now and that it has to do with the US. Now I know waifu cards are a main thing in Japan and that uh, trend I see that has been reflected pretty much also it's starting to take place also in the US. Now I'll speak for myself. I'm not a fan of waifus. Now I do like this Hiwi here, Pikachu, but I'd rather pay 50 euros to get an Iron Crown than to get an Iona. That's basically my thinking. Now I'm not the market and uh, I acknowledge that I'm, a, I'm okay with that. However, I do believe in Italy, people do not care as much as other places such as the US for waifus. You can see that in price. I mean, I think it's if you look at price, you find some truth in what I just said. Now, I don't know, but I think this could be it. Now, let's talk about why is why are prices in Italy for Italian product higher than English? Now, number one, supply. And why should you care about foreign European languages? Well, the print run, and I will leave you some numbers on the screen. These are taken from the bot, the chart you're going to see, they're taken from the bot, which again is publicly available. For English boxes in the EU listed right now, which doesn't mean they exist, it means that right now you can go onto the market and buy them all. There's approximately counting single boxes and cases, 2,000 of each Scarlet and Violet set, as you can see from the chart in front of your eyes. Now, for Italian, for some boxes, such as Poly Evolved, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, you are in the low 100s. Yes, 1 to 200 boxes against 2,000, a tenth of them. And if you look at Perdix Rift, it's even less. Now, once again, these are the number of boxes in the market. They're not the number of boxes in existence. I know that. However, I also know the popularity for English, you know, it covers the whole wide world. Hence, I'm not surprised many more are printed. But two things for all of you that claim reprints are due in the U, I showed you number of boxes, thousands, several thousands of them. Do we really need a reprint right now? Are you worried about a reprint? Is it going to come? I don't know. Will it come? I don't know. The way I see it, it's much more likely it's going to come in the US than in the EU. Uh, there's, I mean, I'm showing you the data right now. You can lie to yourself. There's thousands of boxes. Why would you need some more? Do they sell? Yes, you can see the chart, the supply was going down. They do sell, but there's plenty of them. And um, two, can you use foreign languages such as Italian to see where demand is, to filter the noise and see what demand is. Now, we know that for English, the U is highly, greatly influenced by the US. Many times what happens in the US market is reflected in the U market, in the European market in a matter of days. However, that is not the case for European languages. They tend to really be driven by demand. And what I mean by that, people like a car, they're going to buy it because they like it. Now, I got to say this. I see in Facebook group, in the largest Facebook group in Italy, many people talking about manipulation. I mean, with this number of supply, it's really easy to manipulate. If it's easy, if you think it's easy for English in the US, in the EU, think about what you can do with, you know, this limited print run, right? I'll give you that. However, I think, as always, with a pinch of salt, just as an additional information, an additional variable you can use, look at foreign European languages, see what they're doing, and be like, oh, wait, people are willing to pay 100 euros for an iron crown in their own language. Could that also happen for English? Are we just, you know, focused on other stuff? And once again, many times in the EU, English, we tend to look and act based on what's happening in the US. If, if you're a fellow European, I'm sure you most likely will agree with me. But again, can we learn 
from these European languages. Can we see if people actually like cards that perhaps are overshadowed, maybe by content creators, maybe but just, just by the overall market, and try to filter all this noise and really focus on the card, focus on the artwork, and focus on your own opinion, not what other people are telling you. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci.